We're watching Gremlins, classic, that uh, I'm going to say through a failure of parenting Kelly's never seen. Never seen it. Well, I mean, what's what else is new? I don't think my uh, lovely wife had seen this either until we got together, so, you know, what? both of your parents were failures. <laughs> Come on! But she, for some reason, chooses to refuse to acknowledge Gremlins as a Christmas movie. Oh, come on. Oh. This this is a fucking Christmas movie. Uh, so, Kelly, you be the judge. You tell me when this is over. What constitutes a Christmas movie to you? Give us five reasons. Um, need snow. Okay. Okay. Some sort of gift giving or attempted gift giving. Oh, boy. Okay. I'd like a Santa Claus of some sort. Great. Okay. That, that's three. Uh, uh, How about a Christmas song? Yeah, some sort of song or the score. I want to have bells in it. There you go. <laughs> And then, um, you know, lights and stuff. Uh, I think I think we got ourselves a Christmas movie here, ladies and gentlemen. I think we might. Let's find out. Released on June eighth, nineteen eighty four, the same weekend as Ghostbusters. Now that's a big weekend. God damn, that's a bomb ass weekend. Got a little short Set round over rest. here. To shit, look at this. <laughs> no time for love, Doctor Jones. <laughs> got fat Indiana. Every time I see something like this in a movie, I'm like, who the fuck's lighting all these candles? Just smoking the Gandalf. <laughs> so this is uh, the first of Rand's many inventions he shows in here. And uh, I gotta say, the bathroom buddy is a shit-ass invention. <laughs> but I love him. I love all of his terrible inventions that just go this haywire. This is how many of those things Lee would have thrown away at the airport. <laughs> it's so fucking big. It's so big. That's what she said. He's hustling, man. He's trying to He's provide trying? for his oh, family. No, no. Rand's got the hustle big time. It's like, come on, man. You know you need this weird shit. Look at this place. <laughs> Smoke Always be tree. closing. Always be closing. <laughs> and you know, that is essentially his pitch. Like, look around all this bullshit. You know what you ain't got? One of these. <laughs> See? You can fuck up your shirt with it. Yeah, look at that. I got guacamole yeah, it'll, everywhere. It'll squirt out a uh, baby puke on you. <laughs> oh, look at that. There was something in that box, Kelly. What's in the box? It's a little innocent Kelly that hasn't seen any movies. <laughs> What's he doing? So, what? gremlins are what the Mogwai turn into, correct? Fucking spoilers. Yeah, so, very important. Got three rules, Kelly. They can't be in the light, the sunlight will kill them. Can't get them wet. And never feed them after midnight. Which is really, uh... That was kind of a time mind fuck, Because, you know... <laughs> time zones. <laughs> As they were making the movie, somebody was like, Well, what about... I think it was Zach Galligan was like, What about the midnight thing? What about... It's always midnight somewhere. And Joe Dante was like, Yeah, we'll make fun of it in the sequel. I mean, it's always midnight somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got two on the Christmas movie list right here. Yeah. Snow yeah, and right Christmas song. Yeah. yeah, and the greatest song of all time. Yeah, I told Nicole, I said, I said, no man. The candy movie candy. flashed on the screen. They're singing the word Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> they put Corey Feldman in a Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah. And again, is... like I said, not the best Christmas song. The greatest song of all time. That is that is an interesting <laughs> stance. Let me tell you something. A Christmas gift to you from Phil Spector is a great album, even including the last track where the creepy murderer himself comes out and thanks you for listening to the album. <laughs> did you guys know that that album was not a hit when it was first released? I did not know that. Not know. Do, you know, wanna, do you want to know why it wasn't a hit when it was I would love released. to know why it wasn't a hit. It was released the day that John F. Kennedy was shot in the fucking head. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Allegedly. Oh. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Yeah, that'll so put a damper on those uh, day one sales. Yeah, no one was like, I want to listen to Christmas music. They are all real bummed out that the president's head got blown off. That kind of makes Gremlins opening on the same day as Ghostbusters look cute by comparison. So, Kelly, back to Gremlins. <laughs> but this Mr. Futterman right here, he drives a snowplow, and he's like a Vietnam vet. He's got some serious PTSD going on. He looks kind of like current Ken Shamrock. So here's Billy, like a real putz, bringing his fucking dog to work at a bank. Look, dogs can have dog jobs. Leave your dog at home. 
But then again, there's this bitch. She's got her snowman head. <laughs> She's, yeah, bringing her snowman to work. Kiss my grits, buddy. Kiss my grits! She's an interesting character that you see like a lot in these kind of movies where there's just one rich asshole that somehow manages to like, own everyone's house. <laughs> Straight up, just, you know, small town slumlord. Ebenezer oh, the Scrooge. The uh, villain of yesterday and today, the landlord. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it just sucks, man. Oh, I feel like we might be uh, looking at some comeuppance for this old lady coming down the line. <laughs> she just might get hers by the end. Out of my way, Pipey. Bavarian snowman, your dog broke it this morning. Oh. Uh, no, ma'am, my dog was at his job. <laughs> <laughs> he was at work all day. Can we talk about Phoebe Cates for a second? We gotta talk about Phoebe Cates. Which one is Phoebe Cates? The brunette. Oh, no. So not this lady. No. No. Okay. It's oh, dog says fuck your shit. <laughs> Get him, Barney. Get him. <laughs> Rip her goddamn face off and eat it. <laughs> He's a good boy. All rise for the honorable Judge Reinhold presiding. <laughs> judge Reinhold is neither a real judge nor has he received acting's highest honor. Thank you, bailiff. You putz. A plus use of putz, Judge Yeah, Reinhold. I appreciate putz. Don't be a putz. What are you talking about? You bring putz back. Putz was I very I people 80s. a putz on a regular basis. <laughs> putz. I bet they're just astonished. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using the word twat lately. You twat! <laughs> that, that, that's not safe for a workplace. No. You were twat, Gareth. You were twat in a no bend. Uh, been enjoying, uh, uh, mook lately. <laughs> Mook's good. This guy's a fucking mook. I like mook. Oh! He can say that, but mook. I can't say the F word? Did you just say the F word? Mook! What's wrong with mook? What's a mook? A mook? What's a mook? I don't know. What's a mook? Do you or do you not say mook with an Italian accent? Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, well, fuck dirty, greasy eye towels. No one cares hey, about you that. You guys are thinking of Whopper Dago. Ah, now that's a sensitivity. <laughs> I can say that. I'm that. I'm them. Yeah. I'm not talking about a bunch of mix. I said moops. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the bog trotting mix. Yeah. I gotta take a minute to talk about Mama Peltzer here, okay? Okay. Mama Peltzer is fucking ride or die. Ride or die, remember? Because she's keeping all these bullshit contraptions around. Yeah. Knowing their horse shit. Supportive. But she's standing by her man, ride or die. She's right there for it. I built a set of stairs for the back porch oh, when they got nice broken. Job. And they're a little bit too steep. And I haven't heard the fucking end of it for three years. <laughs> You think Nicole would keep a busted ass egg cracker around? Nah. <laughs> She'd be like, fuck you and your egg cracker. <laughs> Mama Pelter, you all right. You a bad bitch. Played by Francis Lee McCain, who played Lorraine's mother in Back to the Future. Why do you look so familiar to me? Do I know your mother? Yeah, I think maybe you do. Hey, Kelly, you want to see a gift? <laughs> Why, sure. <laughs> You want, you, want, you want to check another one off your box? You know what? Yeah, I saw some lights outside the window. Okay, yeah. counts. Yeah, we're, we're, we're like 10 minutes into this thing, and we're a full-blown Christmas movie. The lead character, the folk, the thing on the poster <laughs> is a Christmas, is a Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah. Lee, Lee, get Nicole in here. <laughs> Look at that good boy. <laughs> uh, it was a real reaction from Zach Galligan and the dog. Oh, yeah, that well, dog I would assume fuck. it'd be a real reaction from the dog. <laughs> no, that dog is the greatest actor of his generation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very method. That's actually Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this adorable little baby. He's That's so sweet. precious. I want to put suction cups on his hand and stick him to my windshield. <laughs> it's funny. I look at him. You know what I see? What's that, sir? Dolls with suction cups staring out car windows. So he's a mogwai. Mogwai is Cantonese for devil, demon, and gremlin. Oh, oh you think that would have been a heads up, a red flag? Well, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't know Cantonese. Yeah, fucking uh, all so that shit that Rand had, he didn't have a Google Translator, huh? <laughs> Fantastic little animatronic. Oh, the puppets are all great in this movie. Now he'd just be fucking CG. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, and it's a Christmas uh -huh. movie. <laughs> oh, that counts as a Santa? Yeah, for me it does. Oh my god. Look at that. How far into the movie are we? 20 yeah, look minutes. look at his little white beard. 20 minutes and 48 seconds. Yeah. Officially a Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suck it, Nicole. <laughs> yeah. Call her up right now. <laughs> Listen to the fucking man. He's in the lights. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see. Hello? Hey. Hey, babe. How you doing? Hey. What's up? So, me and the boys are watching Gremlins uh, for the podcast for Christmas Eve. Uh huh. And we were discussing the uh, controversy in the house over whether or not Gremlins is, in fact, a Christmas movie. <laughs> and Kelly had never seen Gremlins before. Never seen okay. it. So we asked Kelly before the movie began, we said, hey Kelly, just out of curiosity, what do you think constitutes a Christmas movie? And he says to us, he lists five things. What was the list, Nice Snow, a uh -huh. gift being received or given, uh -huh. Santa Claus, a Christmas song or music with bells, and lights. Yeah. And now we are 20 minutes into this movie, and it checked every one of those boxes. So I think Gremlins is officially a Christmas movie, and you owe me an apology, and you've never been more wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Please tell me you did not call me into the podcast to bust my balls about a Christmas movie. Well, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Mean... Sorry, Nicole, it happened. <laughs> what, what did you think was happening? <laughs> Bill, Look at this. It's a nice pre-trauma Corey Feldman. Well. I <laughs> Is he the dead one? No. Uh, that is Corey No, Hain. he's the one that m made no. those crazy records like. Right. Oh, okay. He's that one. Okay. And he's he still has that Michael Jackson haircut. Yeah. He's he's yeah. still doing the Michael Jackson thing. Look at that. Those little pop culture junkie. Look at him. Yeah. Taking it in. Oh, shit. I'm a drive. Oh, look. He's so precious. Sure. I don't see why not. He seems to like it. Just a little song guy. Oh, Corey Feldman. What the hell are you doing? God damn it. That is a bad face. God damn it, didn't you understand why Lowe's fucking get a dictionary? <laughs> kill, it, kill it! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> get a dictionary. There are a bunch of fucking irresponsible like, dickheads. This hurts. So there were hard. three rules. You had literally three jobs. Now, just imagine if anything on the planet reproduced this way. What a nightmarish world it would be. <laughs> Yeah, especially if it's something that just gets wet and does this. <laughs> you know you like to get wet, though. Uh, There's so many copies of Kelly's mom running around. Oh, well, a little, little close. A little close, camera yeah. guy. <laughs> but now well, that shot, we learned they're cute up until a point. <laughs> so Corey Feldman's just thinking about putting them in a burlap sack and throwing them in the river, isn't he? <laughs> no, he's like, thinking about worry, selling these suckers. I got this way, Billy. Yeah. Oh, watch your yeah, finger. Yeah, good. That kid sucks. No, no, don't push that. <laughs> Take the whole thing, Rand Pelzer. <laughs> Gave his dad a pearl necklace. Gizmo's like, I'm gonna play a little song. Oh, and like, I want cocaine and whores. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we forgot to mention the dog hanging from the Christmas lights. Yeah, the gremlins just turned into a lynch mob. <laughs> You want some goo? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> eating, oh. The, eating the jello pudding? Nope. Nope. No one wants that. <laughs> Don't drink it. <laughs> what? The, what's no. happening over there? <laughs> He's uh, mutating an artichoke. Yeah, there's an okay. artichoke with a bunch of electrodes connected to it. So is he trying to make a battery like it's a potato? Maybe. Hey, Maybe he's trying to resurrect that artichoke. So is Billy it, oh, Pelter is a man of science. I do like the equivalence of one drop equals one mogwai. And this guy's like, I am going to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed at me when I said high school science teacher. <laughs> we'll have meat forever. <laughs> Ken Shamrock going to 9-11 himself into a bus stop. Never let them get into a car with a driver who has been drinking. It was the 80s. You could drive drunk. <laughs> yeah, and they, if the cops pulled you over, they would just be like, oh, man, all right, you get home safe. Yeah. 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 
Different time. If you don't stop your friend from drinking and driving, you're as good as dead. Drinking and driving can kill a friendship. Phoebe Cates just getting a big sad on Christmas. No, I just don't like to. Yeah, she doesn't celebrate Christmas, Kelly. This is going to be important down the line. Look at those assholes. Ugh. It just looks like a box of kindergartners. No. Monsters. I think it's nap. What little fucker do with one to eat? Nap time, you little shits. You won't be able to look at wings the same here in a second. That's how I eat some wings. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Been there. Big mood, as the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's all this? Yeah, yeah. yeah it kind of becomes a little bit of a horror film at this point. A uh, look like like a kaiju movie, even. Yeah, got, like alien eggs. Little mini kaiju. It's like, man, you fucked up every rule, pretty much. Gizmo's like, the whites are at it again. Yep. <laughs> Get that little idiot out of here. Yeah, this is all your fault, Corey Feldman. Yeah. He's like, ah, oh, this is like when I found out what that thing does. God damn it. <laughs> hey, look, gingerbread cookies like you'd see in a Christmas movie. Yeah, I know, right? And yeah, Corey Feldman just frosted himself. Funny. Little non-binary gingerbread people. Oof. Uh oh. About the nut. Oh no. Uh, uh. <laughs> we get it, you vape. Did you see that? <laughs> Billy, shit's fucked. <laughs> what the fuck did you bring me, son? Uh, John Doe has the upper hand. Oh man, Gizmo's having a real bad time. You better put Something that. About, you know, feeding after midnight means they get a fog machine and a green light. <laughs> yeah. After midnight, that's when it, the X kicks in. <laughs> I think I feel something. It's really smooth, isn't it? Sandstorm starts playing. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas. And this is like the first real shot of him. Yep. Hello. He's like, where's your ketamine? <laughs> but just just a just a flash, just a glimpse. So here's the thing, mom. There is a been a development. Do you hear what I hear? My God, damn it! That's a Christmas song too. Oh, it's yeah. so Christmassy. He said, it, "What the fuck is that kid up to? He's he's up to here just jerking off stalactites <laughs> all up in this goddamn attic." <laughs> Clean your room, Billy. Fuck, kid. Like we said, you can move upstairs, but we had. Conditions. I just noticed the footprints in the dust. I've seen this movie 700 times. I've noticed that before. Oh, yeah. What's with all this dust? What are we in? Lee's toy room? Hey, fuck off. <laughs> Look at that little bastard. There are these fucking those. Christmas cookies on this shit. <laughs> all day she was working on that. That little prick was like, nah, never mind now. What a dick. Terrible. Oh, but she's gonna get him. She's gonna get him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a graphic. <laughs> yeah. So, two months after Gremlins, they instituted a PG 13 rating. Yeah. Yeah. And no, it was because fair. it was because of yeah. Gremlins and because of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Violent scenes in two of the most popular summer movies, Gremlins and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, provoked the new rating. Yeah, She's was, like, this is Sparta! <laughs> that was a pretty grisly death. <laughs> oh, just wait, Kelly. Just wait. But also, can we talk about how baller this mom is? Yeah. Yeah. She's like, she did not fuck around. Jesus Christ. She said, this is my Christmas, motherfucker. I'll stab a bitch. I told you. Ride oh, or God. Die. She don't give a fuck. This is my Christmas. You ain't fucking with my cookies. <laughs> and then look at her. She's like, oh, this is Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, bitch. And Steven Spielberg She's was like, like Where's another? hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, maybe we need something between a PG and an R. <laughs> yeah. She's got two knives. <laughs> and look at her. She's not 
fucking around. This she's is just a step below RoboCop. Yeah, she's got a <laughs> she's got a lust for death now. She, she, yeah, she's she got, hunting. She got now. Yeah, she's trying to rack up a body count. Hunted becomes the hunter. <laughs> After I get rid of this fucking gremlin problem, I'm start hunting man. <laughs> Starting with that landlord. Your double knives. She's like, Yeet ah, shit. Fuck you, <laughs> Mook. <laughs> <laughs> you putz. Yeah. Get twat. <laughs> okay, now watch the left of your screen. You'll see a puppeteer. Oh, there yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There was yep. a dude. There was a dude. Yow. How much more Christmas do you need than a Christmas tree attacking you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, my wife's wrong, you guys. And uh, any of your friends that say the same thing, they're equally as wrong. I get the stance that Christmas is supposed to be like about happiness and love and good feelings. And uh, but have you guys never had a family Christmas? Right, yeah. And we're going to have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. Yeah, sometimes, uh, oh, God. sometimes Christmas trees get thrown and sometimes there's gremlins inside of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. Sometimes the gremlins try and choke out mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh. In the fireplace. Kobe! You missed one, bitch! <laughs> oh! Stripe is a real one. Yeah, there's just Billy. Your curtain's on my way out, too, you <laughs> cocksucker! I have protected your toilets! <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, he upper deck the toilet. Well, I caught my son taking a dump on the upper part of the toilet. All right. He calls it an upper decker. Okay, okay. Snow is just, you know, hard water. So, like, sure. you get wet in the snow. Yeah. There's a couple holes in the lore. But still pretty solid lore, dog. Yeah, it's fantastic. Say that again. It's fantastic. <laughs> you, guys, you guys hear that song? Where's, where's it coming from? Oh shit! Somebody turned on the village people alarm. Take <laughs> <laughs> it <get> monetized. <laughs> monetize. <laughs> Whoa! Demonetize. Demonetize. Oh, just cutting it, running away like a bitch. Oh, oh no, it's not good. Kid is all, motherfucker. We get it. Dude, do you even vape? Do you even vape? <laughs> Spike vapes. <laughs> Look at that Christmas rave. Yeah. Do we do? Again? Do we do? Do we do? Look, Kelly. Look, another Santa. Well, uh, an actual, honest to God, full Santa Claus on a roof. Yep. And there's another Santa right there. Ken Shamrock, you get in those streets and fight those gremlins. <laughs> with the TV. You have the thingy. Huh? Oh. What'd you tell Mrs. Futterman with two black eyes? <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hurt Kelly's feelings. <laughs> At your reception. Can't, I remember those bastards. Yeah, Kelly, do you know what that is? The 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 domestic violence joke. No, the, the TV antenna. antenna. <laughs> <laughs> domestic violence is timeless. <laughs> Straight to the moon. <laughs> Don't put it out with your boots, Ted. Tell me my fish is devil, woman. Don't worry, the most dangerous man on the planet's gonna take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Time to challenge all those gremlins to a lion's den match. Yeah, and like he has some pretty significant PTSD already. By the time the second movie rolls around, he's a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> YMCA back up. <laughs> I think I just realized Dire Straits recorded Kim Shamrock's theme. <laughs> <laughs> Money for nothing. Like, they're gonna kill the shit out of this guy. No, 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 they don't. <laughs> oh, Pipey. Oh, Pipey McGee. 
<laughs> Pipey the Patsy. Uh, see, excuse me, sir. You just gotta fucking put your dick into it. See? <laughs> oh no, not my waiter again. <laughs> <laughs> he just bugs playing around town. <laughs> Can everyone take a left at Albuquerque? I knew I should have taken that left point at Albuquerque. Keep Gizmo great again. America. <laughs> Waving a flag and everything. He looks so mad. He got this asshole poking him. Don't you dare get it wet to prove a point. <laughs> Stab that guy in the fucking face with that flag. Yeah, Look Gizmo was like, I will defend this country. What? They pooped in the tank of your toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Upper decked everyone in the house? Animals. Upper decker? Yes, where you take a dump in the water tank and not in the bowl. Man, I thought this chair was so cool. <laughs> this, that lazy little kid and you're like, oh man, I get it. Well, yep. we, we had a two-story house and a basement. So I was just like, oh man, a fucking stair chair. I'd just be rolling in style. It would take you 12 minutes to get from the bottom to the top. But I loved rides, so. Yeah. Like and he player. hates stairs. <laughs> so many stairs! As if I had to have another reason to hate this lady, she's a cat person. Throwing water onto Christmas carolers. This is always my favorite part. Yeah, it's so great. <laughs> well, good thing she didn't throw the water on him. She's like, they've come to take me back to hell! The pores, they're here! Come up and. Oh. In three, two, one. Come up and. Oh no, did they splatter her against the wall? <laughs> Even better. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she died. That bitch dead. <laughs> and they're loving it. Look at they it. They're so proud it. of themselves. And look, another Santa. A Santa covered in the title of the movie. Eat my shorts, dude. Yeah, eat my shorts. Oh, don't have a cow, man. <laughs> no, electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Everyone knows your name. <laughs> but they're just having a ball. They're having a fucking rager. But, you know, you, they're also, you think they'd be getting wet having the beers, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? Phoebe Kate's kind of ride or die, too. Look at her. There he is. <laughs> There's the pervert. <laughs> that one's that one's wearing a dress. Yeah, that one identifies as Mrs. Deagle. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and that one there on the right is uh, non-binary. <laughs> and that made that a hate crime. <laughs> oh, man, a puppet's puppeting a puppet. <sighs> I just think about how small that puppet must be <laughs> because we're tiny little gremlin hands. <laughs> Gremlins way ahead of his time with uh, the commentary on gun violence. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gremlins came in here and took out a bunch of loans. <laughs> Ran up a whole bunch of uh, credit in someone else's name. <laughs> hey, here we go. This watch doesn't like uh, Christmas, Kelly. That's a big moment, boy. Why because she's it? been caught in a time loop and has been reliving this once a year. <laughs> no, they were waiting for Dad to come home on Christmas Eve, you see. All day long Christmas, Dad didn't show up. Been there. Been five days, no Dad. Disappeared on Christmas Eve. This is why she hates Christmas. This really oh, makes sense in this movie. Gizmo's her dad. <laughs> it's like a Detective Pikachu situation. Yeah. That's very twisty. So they went to light the fire because it was cold. Fireman came, broke the oh, no. <laughs> and that, that's when they found the smell. Oh, dead dad dressed like Santa. <laughs> and they pulled dad out of the chimney. And Gizmo's oh. like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. God damn, girl, I spawn evil, and that's dark. Yeah. And, th and that's it. 
Then they're going to talk about it again. That Billy's scene. like, well, shit can't be darker out here. <laughs> that scene makes no sense for the rest of the movie. <laughs> He just All sees right. like someone being disemboweled by the gremlins and he's like, nope, still not as bad. <laughs> God damn, this explains a lot. I uh I don't think we should date anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh delete my number, Kate. How great would it be if the movie just ended here? <laughs> uh, like the mist. Yeah. Like yeah. This is just, just on a note of absolute hopelessness. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just done here. Credits. <laughs> and fades to black, and you just hear the sounds of like hundreds of them swarming. I feel like that's every third theater I go to. Oh, there's and the pervert. Was, <laughs> it was just about to and he's primed too, with like, want to see my. Oh, I guess the movie started. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but uh, this shit just got weirder. <laughs> like, well, let me tell you about my uncle. <laughs> Oh, no. Please don't. <laughs> My uncle was a circus midget. <laughs> you ever seen this and being like, oh, man, is that what it really looks like behind the movie theater? <laughs> <laughs> is there like a little room back there? Oh, shit. <laughs> a peek behind the curtain. This is right before they pop out from behind the screen and shoot all the Nazis. <laughs> I was like, bang, bitches! <laughs> what if every time, like, Gizmo feels the pain of each one of them dying? Oh, my God. Oh, or, no, we're just going to watch him burn to death. Or huh? it gets him off. Like, oh, shit, what the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> oh, my broskies! <laughs> Gizmo's like Highlander. Highlander, there can be only one. My sweet 80s products in this store. Look at that. They're in a Montgomery Ward. Shop early for the best buys at Montgomery Ward. We're good shoppers. You're good shoppers. He is so stoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, 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 I've been yeah. there. Just hands full of candy. Just skateboarding around a department store. Went He's to the fucking store for milk, and now you just get <laughs> nothing but goddamn donuts and cookies, <laughs> sweets. There's goddamn people dying, and you guys are trying to get your rocks off right in front of the fucking gizmo, man? Well, you well, know... if he doesn't do that, you can tell another creepy-ass story. <laughs> yeah. Ding, ding, ding! Ah, uh, my one weakness, track lighting! Ah, uh, the bright lights of commercialism! <laughs> he just gets carried away by the chainsaw. <laughs> Infinite extension cord. Oh, there it goes. All right. Okay. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hang on. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> the party going again. He says, I'm going to make a wish. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're going to die. <laughs> Here it gizmo. Oh, maybe, no. Maybe one of the best deaths in any movie in the 80s. Oh, God. His eye. Yeah. It's, 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 it's gnarly. It's up there with the dude who gets covered in acid in Robocop. Yeah. Oh. Ah, what a wow. Kill what a me! Kill me! <laughs> he gets hit by a truck and completely liquefied. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, Dad, uh, great fucking Christmas present. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we killed the whole neighborhood. Oh, man, it's the post credit scene from He-Man. I'll be back. Don't you dare eat that dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna eat it. Don't eat it. Don't. Don't eat it. Yeah, that's right. Go away. <laughs> My dog would have eaten it before it had a chance to even finish bubbling. <laughs> Thor has also found a movie theater for the charred remains of toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> Truly nightmarish. The rest of the world. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he knew what the fuck is up. He's got the news. <laughs> oh. You motherfucking Guilo. What did I say? Three fucking things. And you couldn't. You fucked up the first one. Let's get the I, hell but, out of here. Oh, he's going to take the thing that we I took to a guy and he, he tortured him and we kept <laughs> dropping water on him and he shot him up with needles. <laughs> oh, and then we fed him and then we kind of fucked up again. I mean, look, it was a crazy oh. weekend, okay? 
Oh, but he's gonna take him from his dad. Like it's just it's not it's kind of not fair, Dad. Actually, yeah, I mean we did nothing wrong. Dad, it's all Corey Feldman's fault. We only killed half the city. White privilege. Fuck you, Guilos. <laughs> Guilos just never mooks. will understand. <laughs> you fucking mook, Guilo, motherfucker. He's like, you are not ready for perpetual food. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my shop, put a drop of water on his arm, and eat his baby. <laughs> yep. Like, huh, well, this was the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> Wait, was it, though? Fucking love Gremlins, you guys. That's a good movie. A classic. And straight up fucking Christmas. Yeah, that's Gremlins. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. For more dumb content like this, follow us on Twitter at Panels on Pages and listen to the Panels on Pages podcast every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern, live on YouTube, and available anywhere you find podcasts.